hi guys welcome back to Kali j's kitchen in today's video i'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and i'll show you how to prepare this amazing jamaican authentic rice and peas don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever i upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about Kali j's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram it's Kali kitchen underscore one and also on facebook it's kali j's kitchen so i went ahead already put on my pressure cooker on the stove and we're going to pressure our piece today just to save us some time so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go in add some water to my pressure cooker and then i'm gonna go in add two cloves of garlic and i will also go in and add my red kidney beans now always remember to wash your kidney bean rinse it off with cold water before you go ahead and pressure it all right so I'm going to pressure this for at least 25 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once it's finished pressuring. All of these ingredients that I'm using today, you can get them at your local supermarket or grocery shop. Remember to be creative. Remember to be you in the kitchen and most of all, utilize whatever you have at home. So this is it. My peas is all pressured. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to squeeze into one of it. And as you can see, it is all ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and season my pot. So I'm going to add my French thyme. I will also go in and add my pimento berries, my scallion. And I will also add my scotch bonnet pepper because you cannot make rice and peas without your scotch bonnet pepper. And I will also add some salt. And also I'm going to add my coconut milk powder. If you guys have the authentic coconut milk at home, you can always go ahead and use it. And I will also add a piece of butter. If you don't have the butter, add a little tops of vegetable oil and we're just going to combine everything together nicely and i'm going to allow this to come to a boil at least about 10 minutes or so before we go ahead and wash the rice now while that is boiling you can always go ahead and wash your rice i'm using brown rice today but if you guys have white rice at home or any other rice that you like to use you can always go ahead and use it remember to be creative remember to be you as i always say and just utilize whatever you have at home always remember to taste just in case you want to add a little tops more of salt so this is it once it's come to a boil it should have a nice flavor and a nice taste and then I'm going to add my rice. Once you add your rice, you just go ahead and combine everything together nicely. And you want to just combine so that they, when it starts to cook, the peas doesn't, doesn't settle on top only. You want your peas to be all over. Then you just close it up and allow it to do its thing. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it. And I allow my rice to cook for another 15 minutes or so and i make sure that i turn on my stove i started out with medium heat and then i turn it down on low heat the lowest heat possible and allow it to steam and this is how it comes out looking all fluffy and nice remember i will leave the ingredients listing in the description box so you can always go ahead and check that out and just follow the steps really easy really simple and this is it the final product of my amazing rice and peas don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell. Let me know what you think about this final product of my amazing Jamaican rice and peas. Thank you guys so much again for watching and see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye guys.